Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins here on our YouTube channel. And this video today is going to be another interesting vi video. Why? Because people want to know what sectors or industries are rising. And VectorVest has that information at the snap of a finger, at the blink of an eye or in a heartbeat to give you that pertinent information. Not only am I going to talk about a sector that's on the rise, we're going to dig a little deeper because of the current market situation and find the stocks that actually pay a good, strong dividend as well. So if you're interested in knowing those two things, what sectors is on the rise or what particular sector is on the rise and what stocks within that sector pay a good dividend, you sit right there. So I needed a way to be able to come up with an idea of what sector is on the rise right now in our database to help you find some stocks to take advantage of. So it's very easy to do in the VectorVest software. As I get into the program, right here, we can clearly see I'm running something in our Unisearch tool called a Delta search on sectors. And what I'm looking for is a 10 day price delta, and I'm calling this a strong sector. So for those of you who are VectorVest subscribers, you will not see this search in your software. I created it for the purposes of really reiterating a sector or in this case, you know, a sector that's really moving. So the only change that I made for those VectorVest subscribers is uh, I'm looking at a 10 day price delta which is, you know, 10 days sort of descending. And a delta for all of you guys out there is a change and a percentage change. The, the change that I'm looking for, the percentage change is a change in price over the last two trading uh, weeks. I added something else. A delta, a 20-day delta greater than zero. So I also wanted to make sure that the sectors that were found were growing over the last 20 days. But growing more over the last 10 days, which gives me some confirmation of the sector's move. So when I run it as of the close of business today, petroleum, we all know that petroleum is hot and heavy, and it's the number one sector in the system. What if I am trying to find a sector before it gets to number one, and that's what I'm looking for right now. Energy goes right along with petroleum, electronic. Well, I went down to telecom. Telecom, uh, over the last 20 days, is up 2.4% in change in price. But over the last 10 days, it's increased to up to almost 7.5% over the last 10 days. So making money by price over the last 20 days and moving even faster over the last 10 days. That's how I got to telecom. So then I took it a step further. I went over to the viewers tab. I went to the sector viewer and I found out that telecom is the 16th best sector in the system. Let me take off my camera for a second. It's the 16th best sector out of 41 sectors in the system. So now, let me put my camera back on. I took this a step further. I went, right-clicked, and I viewed the sector graph. And this is all, you know, setting up the table of why I picked this sector. Now, the cool thing is that a lot of people on YouTube are not even talking about this yet. Thus, the reason why I need you guys to share this video with people in your social circle. All right, today, good day in the market. Look at the sector run, staying above the 20-day exponential moving average and closing out the day on very good volume going into tomorrow's open. Folks, you could be setting up right now on what to do. All right. So that's the graph, that's the sector, those are the things that got me to the point of making a video on this specific thing. Now, next thing you wanna do is right click, view the stocks in the business sector, and I'm gonna do this. I'm only gonna bring up the top five. This sector has 142 stocks. Now, the top five that you see here are sorted by our master indicator VST. But remember, I told you I took this a step further, right? 
I wanted to make sure that from the perspective of getting passive income, that these stocks paid a dividend and that they were good. So I went over to our indicator, dividend safety, sorted all 142 by that indicator, dividend safety, and here are some of the stocks that I came up with. I didn't use all of the stocks that are here, but I did use the majority of them. And now let's talk about dividend safety. It's got is on a scale between zero and 99, and look at the safeties of the dividends on these stocks. Uh, they're all either buy or hold recommended. Uh, they all have positive earnings and positive earnings growth. All right, enough said. Let's talk about the stocks that I want to talk about with you today. Let's get into uh, my news. And the first thing from a telecom perspective, you got to talk about 5G. Why? Because that's the hottest thing out there in the telecom space. Now, I found a little story here about the advantages and disadvantages of 5G. Advantages, high resolution and bi-directional large bandwidth shaping, uh, technology to gather all networks on one platform, more effective than efficient. So that could be a downside. It's not super efficient, but it is very effective. Technology to facilitate subscriber supervision tools for quick action, most likely will provide huge broadcasting data in gigabit, which will support more than 60,000 connections, easily manageable with uh, the previous generations. That's, you know, one, two, three, four. Uh, technological sound and support heterogeneous service, including private network, and possible to provide uniform, uninterrupted, and consistent connectivity across the world. So that's the hot and heavy behind the advantages of 5G. Let's go down to the disadvantages. Very little disadvantages. Hmm. Um, technology is still under process and research on its viability is still going on. Uh, the speed this technology is claiming seems difficult to achieve. In future, it might be because of the incompetent technological support in most parts of the world. Many of the old devices would not be, uh, would not compete with 5G. Hence, all of them need to be replaced with new ones. Expensive deal, especially with the new phones that are coming out now. Developing infrastructure needs high cost. The infrastructure right now is still out there being put out, but a lot of the major cities already have 5G in them. Security and privacy issue yet to be solved. I need to look into that. And that's all of the disadvantages. Let's take this a step further. 6G is already being worked on. 6G component provides speed, efficiency needed for the next gen network. Now, this is not going to happen for a few years, but we're already, you know, getting engrossed in 5G. 6G is already on the move. Now, let's start talking about some of the stocks in this space that I want you to look at. Here's one of them, CDW. Uh, and this is all about dividends. Uh, it's got an upcoming U.S. dividend of 50 cents. All right. It's about to go X dividend in the next four days. The X dividend date is one of business day, blah, 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 blah. But the big part of the story is the next dividend payment will be 50 cents per share. On the back of last year, it paid $2 to shareholders. So that's a little bit of a drop. That's a lot of a drop, but still, still paying a dividend. Uh, nonetheless. Okay. Let's go to audio codes. Um, might have the makings of a multi-bagger. Everybody's heard of 10 bagger stocks. Is this going to be a 10 bagger stock? Don't know. Uh, but it, this deals with the return on the capital employed. And it says that it looks quite promising in regards to its trend on return on capital. That's a, a Yahoo Finance story. Another one, six undervalued tech stocks that pay dividends and buy back their stock. Uh, these undervalued tech stocks look cheap, selling below 15 times earnings with 2 to 3% yields and buybacks. The one that I want to look at here is Qualcomm. Let's scroll down to that. And is a telecom chip designer that has good earnings growth, including 46% this year and 4.2% next year at $143.22 as of June 2nd. The stock trades on the Ford PE of 10 times, uh, given its earnings 12 and a half uh, earnings per share forecasted for next year. So we're going to look at Qualcomm. And the last one is going to be LHX. Uh, comes into... Uh, collaboration with Duke Energy. 
Uh, Duke Energy and L3 Harris Technologies today announced a customized cost-effective soli uh, solution for nuclear power plants that will provide complete 3D simulations of operating nuclear facilities. Now, this is important on a couple of different fronts. Um, the idea of we're trying to look for alternatives to, f to fossil fuels. I did a video that talked about the increase of nuclear reactors and nuclear power plants across the globe. They're being built now. All right. But I love this idea of hooking up on the basis of telecommunications to build a 3D simulation on how to run these plants more effectively. One of the biggest issues about um, these plants is that they could be dangerous. And I love this idea of having, from a Star Trek perspective, uh, some kind of um, a, a 3D, 4D room, uh, a hologram, to be able to uh, learn how to use these more effectively. All right, so those are my four stocks that I want to present to you. I'm going to get back into the VectorVest software. All right, and let's go over to my watch. Oh, did I just close the VectorVest 7? I bet not have. All right, let's just, let's go to my watch list that I created today. Telecom dividend plays. Here's my four stocks that we just looked at. All right, so I set the table for you on why I wanted telecom. I set the table for you on why I wanted dividend plays. Uh, even if the market continues to move down, today was a good day. Um, but if the market still with all the inflation has the influx to still move down, I like dividend plays to, to try to help to absorb some of the price decline by the dividends being paid. And I also want to make sure that the dividends being paid are going to be safe dividends. Here's my dividend safeties on all of these. Again, based on a scale between zero and 99, these stocks pay strong dividends. They grow their earnings. They all have positive earnings. They all grow their earnings in double digits. That's beautiful as well. Uh, so that's why I picked out out of 140 some odd stocks, why I chose these four for you for that purpose. All right, let's go look at them on a graph. Today, CDW did beautifully. That's awesome. Let's go put this on a three-month graph. Now, what I like about these, here's the earnings per share on the stock. Here's my 20-day exponential moving average. The stock today broke through two levels of resistance. It's got two more levels of resistance to get through, but I do like the move on nice volume and on good earnings per share. That's one. Second one, audio codes. Look at that. Coming off this session of a low or session of a uh, floor or support, love the nice move up on good volume and the pop in earnings per share. Uh, LHX, uh, LHX, though, is in a little bit of a channel. Remember, this sector is number 17 out of 41. I like that the stocks within the sector will help pull the sector higher. Hopefully, will help to pull the laggards within the sector higher as well. But the stock's got good upside potential with relative value, good safety with relative safety. It's got good earnings per share, and they grow it at a clip of 13%. This one I would wait on a little bit more, but I like coming off of this level of support, getting into this level of a channel and breaking above. I'd like to see it break above that level of 242.93. And the last stock in the list is Qualcomm coming off this floor, breaking through uh, this level of the 20 day exponential moving average, breaking through a level of resistance. Knights open candle on good volume and love the earnings per share. So those are my four stocks for you to keep your eyes on and keep in mind. They all pay a dividend. And by way of the VectorVest system, they all have great dividends as well, safe dividends. Now, I didn't want to leave you without looking at some of the major names in this space, like uh, T-Mobile, Verizon, Nokia, AT&T, or specifically on that 5G space. All of these are buy or hold recommendations. All of them have relative values of above one, which means they should outperform a AAA corporate bond over the next one to three years. But T-Mobile has the added fundamental value of relative safety being above one. I do like the earnings growth rate and the earnings on this as well. If I'm looking at any one of the mobile services, 
from a stock investing perspective, I like T-Mobile. Now, there's another side of that. It is definitely overvalued. And if uh, buying an overvalued stock is not for you, then you'd stay away from T-Mobile. But if we take a look at these graphs real quick, let's do that real quick. Three-month graph. Remember, I've already given you the four that I like from a dividend play, but I also want to look at the major players in the telecom space that everybody knows about. Love the earnings above the 12, uh, the 20-day extension through moving average and hitting a new high today on T-Mobile. Uh, Verizon sitting in a little bit of a channel, but definitely above the 20-day Earnings is higher than it was three months ago, but has pulled back a little bit uh, on Nokia. Now, this one is is in the uh, meme stock space, isn't it? All right, so be careful with this. It does bounce all over the place. Nice open candle today. Broke through a level of resistance, and I do have a pop in volume. Uh, sorry, in earnings. And the last one, AT&T. Was that an earnings play? Uh, almost, man. Big gap down. Nicely trying to run up. Be careful with it. It is currently above the 20-day exponential moving average we're pulling down. And I don't like the earnings falling over the last three months. All right, with that, folks, those are my stocks from a couple of different perspectives. One, you want to be able to ride a sector while it's low and rising up. And telecom, by way of my delta, shows that it's gone up over the last 20 days and gone up even more over the last 10 days to give me more confirmation of the move of the sector. Uh, We've looked at some stocks and specifically looking at the dividend-paying stocks in this sector. And then we also looked at some of the big names, the big mobile names in this sector as well to give you a nice, well-rounded video to consider. But as I mentioned, there's not a lot of people on YouTube talking about the telecom sector at this point in time. And you know something? If we were able to get you into it or at least considering it before it moves up a lot more, you can thank us later. So folks, this video is over. And until the next time, see ya.